Obviously, uh, a huge step for you guys to, to win this game, um, you know, falling behind two goals. I mean, what was the mentality of your team? And, and obviously, you were able to get the one that kind of broke you, broke it open for you guys. Yeah, I think we stayed really positive in between periods. And I think that's something our, our leaders enforce on us in order to, uh, you know, come back strong, stay positive in between periods. And we did that, you know, specifically. And we came out in the second super strong. And, I mean, that was uh, a pretty good shot. I mean, how'd that feel coming off the stick there? Good. I think it felt pretty good. I think uh, it was a good play by Seamus, but I mean, it just caught over his shoulder a little bit, you know, luckily went over and, you know, uh, went from there. And, you know, you, you kind of had had the situation where you, you know, had kind of moved around the lineup. You still were playing a lot of minutes, but it was in a different different line, different role. You kind of get back with your with your two guys and uh, that you've been with for the last couple of years. So I just wonder, you know, what was your mentality like as, as these, these lineup changes kind of happened around you? Yeah, I mean, I'll play any role that coach puts me in. And I think, you know, I got moved around the lineup and I, I was, you know, able to play in certain situations in certain spots. And I think that's just that go back to that gold, gold medal mentality, playing anywhere, wherever my team needs me most. And I think it's, you know, moving through the lineup, like I said, it, it, it wasn't too challenging because there's so many good players to play with. And for you too, I'm just curious about the third period, going into that third period where you guys, you know, everything to play for, what was the message and, and what, you know, what, how did you guys execute that in the third period? Yeah, we were ecstatic. I mean, I've, we were all, you know, really energetic in the locker room. And I love that energy from our team because, you know, we got a really important game tomorrow. You know, hopefully we have that gold medal around our necks in 24 hours. So I think it's that, that energy that we brought into the third we need to bring into the first period next game. And, you know, this has obviously become a rivalry between you and Sweden. You guys have met in the under-18s a few times. Um, just, you know, what's this rivalry like, and, and now it's on its biggest stage yet? Yeah, we want to get back at them. They obviously took our gold medal at U18 Worlds, and, you know, we, we want that right back from them on this stage in this tournament. I know I asked you this like 45 minutes ago, but just to pass it along again, you know, what Quinn Finley and, and Danny Nelson, what do they do to kind of just get this team going and establish the way that you want to play? Yeah, they played the way, exactly the way uh, that they needed to. I think uh, just kind of that mentality to get get low and get to work and get pucks in that, and uh, they did it all game, and they enforced a lot of offense for us uh, throughout, the, throughout the whole game. So, I mean, if they keep that same mentality coming in tomorrow, it'll be great. Quinn was all over 22, like covering him on that late PK. Like what? What were you see? What were you feeling as that elapsed and you guys were able to have the successful? Yeah, uh, pretty nervous. I mean, uh, on the bench, you know, he's got a good shot, but I think you know, those nerves calm down when you see Finner out there. He, you know, he's able to do anything for the team, and you know, any guy's willing to do anything for the team. And you see him, you know, blocking shots, and Trey makes a great save, and everyone's just super ecstatic on the bench. It creates so much strong energy. What was your assessment of the first period? I don't think it went super well. I don't think it went super bad, though. I think they obviously came out stronger than us. I think we had a small push towards the end of the first, and then we came out strong in the second. I think just kind of not having that same first period tomorrow is something that you know we all enforced in our locker room. And, you know, obviously there's some experience uh, from last year's World Juniors on this roster, yourself included. How, much, how important is that when you get to these medal round games? in the semis last year to sort of win that game. It's a step for us in the right direction, but we're not done yet.